So we have a lot of work to do. And finally, in conclusion, I want to say to all of you, I've heard a lot of Muslims lately say, I'm so depressed. I was in recently in Arabia and I have a Muslim friend. He was a very active Muslim. And I said, what, what are you doing these days? He said, no, I'm, I just, I, I, I've given up. That's what he said to me. He said, I've given up. I'm, I'm, I've had enough. You know, there's no hope. I grabbed him and I shook him, literally, physically. And people who know me know that I'm very capable of doing that. I shook him and I said to him, what do you mean there's no hope? If you want a bid'ah, hopelessness is a bid'ah. We are a religion of hope. We live on hope. Every time you're depressed or you say there's no hope, what you're saying to every African that was brought over in chains, and, and survived the transatlantic crossing and came here and lived in slavery and marched to get their civil rights, you're saying to them, that was all a waste of time. If you're depressed, you're dishonoring all those Andalusians who were chased out of what was called paradise at the time. <coughs> they were chased out of Andalusia, but they made new lives for themselves in Tunisia, in Morocco, and today you have Andalusian families that hail from Andalusia, just like you have Palestinians here that were chased out of their homes. You're dishonoring all of those Indians that migrated to Pakistan with the hope of a better life. You're dishonoring the Afghanis that have lived in over 30 years of war. And they're still trying to hold their heads high. <coughs> we can't do that. There's no room for hope. I'm in it till the last breath. I'm in it till the last breath. Because in that last breath, and I pray to God that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives me on my last breath, ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah, because I believe in the promise of God. I believe that his prophet was true. I believe that hell is true and that the fire is true and that the day of judgment is true. And I testify to the truth of the sirat that we will be weighed in the balance and there will be those who are found wanting and there will be those who are given grace and there will be the outstrippers. These are all true things that every prophet has taught and I believe in them and I will hold to them till I die and the struggle continues. This world was never meant to be paradise. God has created a world that is meant to drive you to God. And if you're been, be, being driven to the devil, you've been duped, my friends. Because all of the hardships that you suffer in your life, if you believe in God, you will find those rewards on the Day of Judgment. I was in Abu Dhabi and a taxi driver said to me, and I'm done. I was in Abu Dhabi, a taxi driver said to me, I said, where are you from? He said, Dara'a. And I said to him, I hope that your family's safe. He said the house caved in on them. My father was killed. He said to me, I've worked 12 years. Every month I sent everything I could back to my father to build that house. And it was destroyed. I feel like my whole life is a waste. I said to him, Ya akhi, bil Arabiya, ihtasib and Allah. Wallahi kunta fi birrin bi waradayk. You were in filial piety to your parents. Believe in the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What you're doing is not to build in this world. Man bana li hadihi dunya faqad khaba ma bana. If you build for this world, what you build will go to naught. We build for the next world, not for this world. And if what we build, if, if my college in California is destroyed by an earthquake, so be it. So be it. But we are builders for the Akhirah, and this is the place we do it. Jazakumullah khairan wa salamu alaykum.